For those who have stepped forth into the enigmatic and complicated world of UFO research, they know that it is rife with division. But here, just like religion, we have another reason for the numerous splits, as the enigma really comes down to the individual human experience. There are many who have claimed that they have been visited by aliens or beings from other dimensions. The vast majority, like people who see ghosts and apparitions, believe in the data from experiences they encountered with their very own eyes. The unconscious mind remains a mystery because we are simply not conscious of it. We must imagine what it is like inside this huge domain on the other side of our daily realities. Occasionally, people recall their encounters in this strange world, in dreams, and more interestingly, lucid dreams, whereby we become conscious of elements of our unconscious world and even interact with them. If we remain neutral, then we avoid excluding any possibilities that have yet to emerge in our conscious and unconscious minds. We avoid putting ourselves into any framed paradigm, as in the case of science and logic. Perhaps we need to abandon any previous notions or ideas about this phenomenon to gain headway into the unknown. What are the UFOs? Are they emanating from ourselves? Are they here only because we have the capacity to perceive them? Perhaps they are ancient archetypes that we have forgotten within the sands of time. Whatever they are, they are very real to the experiencer. They are real to countless thousands who encounter them more and more each year as the sightings continue to multiply. What are they trying to tell us? understand the UFOs, perhaps we can better understand ourselves. opinions on ancient astronauts, black technology, and the psychology of belief in UFOs. And last, but not least, aliens. <laughs>